a lot of really interesting moments, but if I had to choose one, it would probably be back in, I think, 1989 and 90, when for those two years, I was the conference chair of the annual conference. And, um, and after that, I had the chance to work with uh, Linda Curtis, uh, one of my Tesla Ontario colleagues in those days, editing the conference proceedings. And this was just a great experience because to begin with, it was amazing the quality and the variety and the depth of the different submissions that came in as uh, potential presentations. And then on top of that, there were the um, volunteer reviewers from the association who, who stepped right up there and, uh, and helped us do the reviewing. So it was all done very carefully. Um, but, you know, even thinking of help, it wasn't just that even, you know, the, the office was very helpful. Um, I recall that uh, in those days, it was um, uh, Renata Tilson, who was the executive director. I think that was the very beginning. And uh, the office was really helpful so that looking after the conference wasn't anything like as scary as it might seem to be. And one last thing about it, which is that those are the days when computerization was starting to come in. And, and I had the opportunity to build a database using a kind of very early, early version of DB3 or whatever it was to, um, to set up a database so that we could automate the letters to, um, to people about their presentations, the creation of the conference um, brochure and all that. And um, there was a big learning process there, but none of it would have been possible if it wasn't for the great environment. So that's definitely a very memorable time for me. Um, I think the biggest positive change is probably Tesla Ontario certification. That whole process it had not only certification for teachers, uh, classroom teachers, but also for teacher trainers and also for uh, approved programs that would offer training. Those were really important steps forward. Um, I had, uh, I was born in Canada, but I was away for a long, long time before I came back in the early 80s. And I'd done a lot of ESL teaching abroad uh, for the British Council and, and elsewhere. Um, it was enjoyable and, and I learned a lot too. But I must say that one thing that really came to the fore with this whole certification process was respect. I mean, there's respect for the teachers because they're certified and they, and they meet, meet quality standards. In other words, uh, you know, to some extent when I was working abroad to be a a good ESL teacher meant you were a nice person. We, we, we want people to be nice people when they're teachers, but there's more to it than that. And I thought that the certification process brought that forward. Um, but it's also important for students too, because they deserve to receive education from teachers who are well prepared. And so generally speaking, I think that that certification move was a really big step forward.